Some tennis news in the U.S. Open regarding the world number one, Roger Federer. Now, he faced off against the tall Czech player, Tomas Burdic, who was ranked number six in their six matches together when they faced each other. Each man is three and three. So Tomas Burdic has seen the likes of Roger Federer before, but again, three and three in six matches against Federer. Now, Burdic completely controlled the game. He only lost one set to Federer, and he ended up knocking out the world number one, Roger Federer, by the score of 7-6, 6-4, 3-6, For Federer, the 31-year-old hadn't played since Sunday because Marty Fish, the American, withdrew because of health problems. At one point, however, he took 19 of 24 points in the third set, and it would be the only set he would win, which was 3-6. Down two sets, he tried to make a ninth career comeback from a two-set deficit, and which Burdich, by the way, was victim to in the 2009 Australian Open. Incredibly interesting, but the errors would simply haunt Roger Federer. 24 of 40 came off his forehand, the first time since 2003 that he hasn't made it to the semifinals at the U.S. Open. For the lengthy 6-5, Tomas Burdich had 14 aces. One of them was clocked at 128 miles per hour in a tiebreaker. He had 30 winners, only 21 unforced errors. He was quoted as saying, when you leave it a little bit on Roger's game and he starts to go for it, it could be a really big problem. So I was just trying to get it back, trying to get my rhythm back again, and to stay as close as possible. And finally, it was the right moment, right tactics. He will face Andy Murray Saturday. Both men chasing their first Grand Slam title. For Federer, he won the U.S. Open from 2004 to 2008, a great stretch. But his last four losses at the Open came to very big hitters. Juan Martín del Potro in 2009, Novak Djokovic in the semifinals in 2010 and 2011, and now Tomas Burdich. Here was his quote after the match. I've got to go back to the drawing board right now and see what is the priority uh, he was saying for the rest of the year. I've said it a hundred times. It's been amazing. I'm back at number one to win Wimbledon, but we don't need to talk too much about that right now. I lost the match, a very disappointing match for me. So now the big question that has hit Twitter and the internet and comments and what have you on the internet box is, is Roger Federer done for? Well, look, he's 31 years old. He's had a few injury problems in the past. But you know what? I say no way is he done. And the fact that people would bring it up, look, they said he was done a few years ago when he lost him at Wimbledon to Tomas Burdich. So the fact that we're ruling him out now and many people are saying this is the last that we've seen of Roger Federer's dominance, no way, man. You've got to – look, it's one tournament. Granted, it's the U.S. Open, which he was so dominant uh, from 2004 to 2008, and you could say hasn't been as dominant in the last four years, I say no way can you rule this guy out. If, if it continues, and if he continues to lose like this and only take one set and loses this badly, granted, Burdich is great. You, you, can't, you can't hate on Tomas Burdich beating up on Roger Federer because he looked incredibly good. But if it is a pattern, then we could start having this conversation. But for me personally, I say no way. Let's wait and see what happens. So I want to hear your thoughts. You can tweet those at me, at Rick Strom. As always, you could also follow me on there. Our Facebook page is in the description below. Leave your comments in the comments section below. It makes sense. Don't be afraid to tweet, like, and share this video. It helps us. And also, please do us a favor, guys. For some more tennis news and sports news, subscribe to TYT Sports.